Hello and welcome to the Friday video for Module 6. This module discusses, discusses correlation and regression, uh, specifically least squares regression. And so I'm going to look at problem number 10. It's got a lot of parts to it, A through F, so that means that there's six par parts. And it's going to give me a lot of time to be able to, to talk about regression and correlation. So I really like problem 10. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the icon to view the data table because I'm going to eventually load this into StatCrunch and you know how difficult it is for my machine to load StatCrunch. It's not really difficult, I just have to do a few more clicks. Uh, open a new StatCrunch. Okay, it's open in StatCrunch now. Make this a little bit smaller. I don't need that open now, and I got the data loaded, so I can now begin. So find the least squares regression line treating cola consumption per week as explanatory, the x variable. Uh, let's do that. Stat, regression, simple linear. Now we got to specify the x variable. We're told that the cola consumption is the explanatory variable number of colas per week, and the y variable would be the mo bone mineral density. Mm, don't need any hypothesis test yet, so I'll just leave that blank, and there's a lot of things we can do here. I'm just going to hit compute and see what it gives us. Okay, so hitting compute gives us, well, it gives us the intercept and the slope. The intercept is 0.88654098. That's the intercept. It's positive. That's a positive. That's a negative. Boom. The slope is negative point zero zero two nine eight. There we go. A is correct. Interpret the slope. The slope abstractly is always interpreted the same way. For every one increase in x, y increases by the slope. Here the x is the cola consumed, so every, for every additional cola consumed, bone mineral density will go down, because it's a negative slope, will decrease, by how much? 0 0.0030. Again, slope, for every one increase in x, the slope is how much the y changes. Now we'll interpret the intercept. The intercept is always interpreted the same way. It's the value of y when x is 0. So it's for a woman who does not drink cola, so x is 0. The bone mineral density will be 0 0.0030. Oh, that wasn't the intercept. The intercept was point z uh, point 0.8865. So it's not a. It's not going to be b either. Y-intercept has nothing. For a woman who does not drink cola, so when x is 0, bone mineral density will be 0 0.8865, 0 0.8865, it's c. Ooh, is it appropriate to interpret the y-intercept? That's an interesting question. We should never interpret the y-intercept if 0 is outside the range of the x values. Is 0 outside the range of the x values? No, nope, we got some x values that are 0. So it is appropriate to interpret the y-intercept here. But if the lowest number of cokes consumed um, was 1 or 2, we should not interpret the y-intercept. But it includes 0. Uh, check answer. Woohoo! D. Predict the bone mineral density for the femoral neck of a woman who consumes 4, so x equals 4. What does y equal? And let's see if it doesn't. So if we just clicked right. We've got a graph of it now. The line is our line of best fit. This line, this red line, is the um, negative 0 0.003 times x plus 0.8865. Notice that 0.8865 is where the line hits the y-axis. So I can look here, and so woman has four colas per week. 
So it's going to be right there, but that really doesn't help us because it doesn't tell us that value. Now I could, uh, let's go back here, I could put 4 in for x and perform this calculation. That would be an option as well. Um, let's see if edit works. Okay, yeah, that brought me back to simple linear regression. I need to predict y when x is equal to 4. And that confidence level, let's ignore that for now. That's actually going to give us a nice little prediction interval. So compute. Let's make this wider again. There we go, predicted value. When x is 4, y is 0.8746. Notice we are 95% confident that the expected bone density is going to be between 0 0.87 and 0 uh, 0.871 and 0.878. For a given person, 95% of the time, that person will have a bone density between 0 0.860 and 0 0.889. Notice the confidence interval is for the mean, and the prediction interval is for a single observation. Up until now, we've only dealt with confidence intervals. But now, we've got prediction intervals thrown in there. Uh, researchers found a woman who consumed four colas per week to have bone mineral density of 0.873. Notice that the observed is less than what we expected. Uh, she's under. But she's well within the prediction interval. So 95% of the time, a, an individual will fit within this prediction interval. An individual. This individual does, so that's kind of cool. Is this wo bo woman's bone mineral density above or below? Yeah, she's below. Because we predicted it's going to be 0.8746, and she's less than that. Final check. We got more? F. OK. Would you recommend using the model found in Part A to predict the bone mineral density of a woman who consumes two cans? Well, let's take a look. Yep, two is within our range. Yeah. And it looks like the, uh, the dots bounce around the line, so I'm going to say yes. <gasps> oh my goodness! That's not correct. You answered yes. Yes, I did. The correct answer is no, because two cans equal to 14 cans per week. Oh my goodness, silly me. I misread the question. Because I thought this was two cans per week, and I didn't read that last number, uh, last word. Dag nabbit. Wrong. Oh, no, it's not. So, we're done with this one. Let's go back to what we learned in this problem. The first thing we did here is we got the data imported into StatCrunch. And then we had StatCrunch do all the calculations for us because you know what? I'm not that good with math. Ha. Linear regression, stat, regression, simple linear, allows us to select the x variable, which we were told was colas per week, the y variable, which is bone mineral density. Then later on, we ha had four cokes per week, and we computed it. And that's all there is to it. We don't actually have to do any number crunching. Stat crunch does it for us, hence the term stat crunch. We looked at the slope, which is the effect of x on y. For every increase of 1 in the slope, y increase, I'm sorry, for every increase of 1 in the x variable, the y variable increases by the slope amount. The y-intercept is always the value of y when x is equal to 0. Notice that x equals 0 is within the data range. Therefore, the y-intercept does have some meaning. If the data only goes down to 2 or 1, but not to 0, then the y-intercept should not be interpreted. We interpreted the slope. 
We interpreted the intercept. We predicted a value. Boom, 4. Predicted value is 0 0.8746. 95% confidence interval for the mean or for the expected. And a 95% prediction interval for an individual. So 95% of the time, an individual who drinks four cans of cola per week will have a bone mineral density between these two numbers. Individual mean of the population. Individual mean of the population. Mean of the population. Individual. Then we found some woman, 0.873. That was less than what we predicted, so she was below average. And then what I recommend using this model to find bone mineral density of a woman who consumes two cans of cola per day, which is 14 per week. Now remember all those things I said about whether or not we should interpret the y-intercept? Since 14 is not within the range of the x variable, we should not use it to predict a woman who consumes two cans of cola per day. One can of cola per day, yes, because that would be seven, and seven's within the range. Zero cans of cola per day, yes, because that would be zero cans per week, and that's in the range, but not 14 cans per week. And then you saw what happens when you get the answer wrong, pops up red instead of green. So this is regression using StatCrunch. And again, you use StatCrunch to do the number crunching, and you use your brain to do the interpretation. Makes things a little bit easier. If you got questions, leave them in the materials question discussion room. Talk to you later. Bye.